the making of a pour cup. Okay, so I put two colors in here, and I really just put on this cup half paint, half um, Floetrol, and then I put a nice little squeeze, just a squeeze, not a whole lot, just a little squeeze in there, and then I mixed it up really well. This cup is, um, there's a little bit of paint in here, but it's about three-fourths paint, and the rest Elmer's glue. Not really using any type of measuring device. And then I just use a tiny bit of water so that I can get a really thin consistency of this. And then I'm using the regular colors on these ones. So I'm just gonna open these up. And there's really no way to do it because you could do it anyway. So I'm um, just gonna put this down one second. Some I wanna be able to squeeze and some I wanna pour. So this one I wanna pour out. So I'm gonna start at the bottom with this product. Doesn't really matter. I'm just doesn't matter how you do it. And then I'm going to add this color. And each time I do a cup, it could be layered differently. So, try not to use too much black because black could really overtake the pour. So, I'm doing a little bit in the middle, but I might not use too much of that. And then I'm just going to randomly grab cups and start pouring in there. I'm making a bit of a mess on my table, but my table is pretty, it's pretty messy. So this is part one, just the making of the cup, and the next part I'll do will be the actual pouring. Just top it off with a little more right on top of that. A little yellow. Then I'm gonna drop a little bit of this blue. Oh. Okay, and I'm going to get that. We'll mix it up just with a little stirring stick, and then I'll pour these rocks. 